This is Play Country Blues. Was in the spring, one sunny day, where my sweetheart left me. Yeah, she gone away. But now she's gone, and I don't worry. Sitting on top of the world. Don't you come running, holding out your hand. I'll give me your one, the quicker you can imagine. Now she's gone and I don't worry. Sitting on top of the Don't like my peaches, stay out of my tree. Don't like my orchard, honey, let my peaches be. But now she's gone, and I don't worry. Sitting on top of the world. Don't you come running, holding out your hand. Gonna give me a one, quick you can't imagine. Now she's gone, and I don't worry. Sunny day, where my sweetheart left me, oh, she gone away. And now she's gone, and I don't worry. Cause I'm sitting on top of the world. All right, that was sitting on top of the world. We are in drop D tuning. Here is my six string, it's a D. To me, drop D tuning is not necessarily an alternate tuning like open G or open D tuning because we get to use all of our standard tuning chords here. All we need to do is be aware of that six string and compensate for that detuning of it when we need to use the G chord. And I'll get into that in a second. But I do want to mention that I've seen this song taught a number of times in open E tuning. Now, I don't really think that Doc Watson played it in open E. I could be totally wrong. However, to me, it sounds and plays more out of drop detuning capoed at the second fret, which would put you in E. So that is what we're going to go roll with in this particular lesson. And we're gonna be playing a bunch of different Ds here. We've got our first position D, and our third position D. So this D, if you bring it all the way up to the seventh and fifth frets, that's our next D. If we bring this down a half step, that's a D minor. Our G is, in this particular case, always going to be played out of this position here. What we're doing is we're playing an E chord shape, or if you want to think of it as an F chord, you certainly can. Thumb over the bass on that fifth fret. We're going to be playing around with this melody. Back to D. Our 
our A chord, A to seven, then back to D, A7, back to D. And those are just the chord positions. So if we just played that, one's in the spring, one summer day, where my sweetheart live me, where she gone away, and now she's gone, but I don't worry. And that's the entire arrangement. Now, whatever you know how to do out of D and or drop D, all of the licks and riffs you know, you can use here. And again, all we have to do is keep that 6-4 bass going, and you can play D licks and riffs all over the place up and down the fretboard. There is one for me that really sticks out, and it's a Lonnie Johnson riff. Now, Doc Watson did not play this, however, when I was playing the performance, I was just using things I know how to do out of drop D tuning, and that's what I suggest for you too. I'm not going to teach you all the guitar breaks because you should just play around as you know how to do. But one I do want to show you, again, is a Lonnie Johnson riff. And we're going to bend up on that second string, the B string on that fifth fret, so E, third, second. Now we're gonna go to the third string. Second, first, open, slide back up to D. Sitting on top of the world. Sitting on top of the world. So that is one lick I love to show people because it is such a fun lick to play. But if you just play the chord progression, again, play around with it, have fun with it. I'm gonna slow it way down, and I'm gonna play through it a few different times. Let's play through it together. I don't 